So we're going to now introduce our guest, esteemed guest, Salam Sayyid, how are you? Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I'm very well, how are you both? Yeah, we're doing well, fine. thank you. So much Pleasant, um, pleasure to see you both. Hope you're enjoying these morning sessions with us. Yeah. I love these morning sessions. Well, our always, viewers are enjoying it. They're so. always so interesting. Indeed. Um, yeah. And look, essentially just for the viewers um, who haven't tuned in before, um, this part of the show is essentially where we cover some miscellaneous and underrated issues um, facing the Islamic community. Um, one of those issues, well, what, what we've covered before recently is something to do with like um, halal meat and fish and, and um, um, things like etiquettes, for example, the etiquette of food, how to eat food properly. Um, but one of them is actually very, very important, um, which affects mm. the lives of each and every single one of us, um, be it now or later. Um, and that's the issue of organ donating. Um, which is a massively important issue. A lot because because from the from the offset, you'd think that to do a good cause, um, and because there's so many campaigns from the NHS, um, yeah. that's the National Health Service here in the UK, they're always crying out for um, donations, organ donations, or blood donations, or or, or you know or, or the likes. But actually, if we just peel past that a bit and just to find out actually what is it that's being donated, which part of the yeah. organ, which organ, blah, blah, blah. It gets, Islam has a stay uh, yeah. on this. Permissibility. Yeah. Are we allowed Indeed. to carry organ donors? Are we allowed to do? So, yeah, so please I guess, do uh, shed your... Bismillah ar-Rahman ar uh, Taken from the Rasala Amaliyah of uh, the Grand Ayatollah, His Holiness, Say Sadiq Shirazi Hafadullah. Um, organ donating is a very, very mustahab act. Oh really? Uh, indeed, oh, wow. it is. It's very, very uh, because it is to do with saving lives and benefiting mm. others. The question comes: Is is organ donating allowed while you're alive, or about after death? Mm. Uh, the, the deceased can we take organs of the deceased? Um, and also donating blood and and donating other bone marrow, for example. Mm. I mean, can can we do these things? Are these Islamically allowed? These are all Islamically. Permissible, mm. okay. They're Islamically permissible, and they are there to help aid people's lives and to make their lives better. Organ donating the, with with the deceased, because that's what, where we normally come into contact yeah. with organ donating, is when the person has died. You know, they don't really need their organs anymore. Mm. Uh, you know, sometimes you and then when someone has passed away in the hospital, there may be an individual that will come from a special department and say, "Have you considered?" You know, um, you know, allowing us mm. to technically literally cut open the body and take the organs that we can give it to someone who needs them to survive. Mm. Um, when it comes to Islam, if the individual has confirmed ever in their life that yes, I would like this to happen to me, then you are allowed to proceed. If the person during his lifetime has confirmed and said that yes, um, you know, when I die, please um, allow them to use my organs to help benefit. Someone so else. Consent. There must be consent. Yeah. Furthermore, if that individual gave consent to another individual mm -hmm. that, oh, when I pass away, please give my kidney to this individual, I know that they are struggling and they need it. Mm. That cannot be um, dishonored. Right. We are not, that doesn't give us justification to take the organ and give it to someone else. That has to be honored. You have to give uh, that organ to who it was intended for. So in which circumstances, or, or are there any circumstances where it becomes impermissible to donate an organ? Um, the top part where it becomes impermissible, are we talking about deceased or alive? Deceased. Both. Deceased? Yeah. Deceased is if that person has never said that... What if I've never sign. said in my life? If you've never said to someone that when I die, you know, take my organs and give it to someone else, or, or there's no sort of um, like will. disclaimer yeah. or yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Normally it's with our DVLA licences. There's a box that we tick, isn't it? Really? No. Oh, yeah. oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. I've probably yeah. ticked it without me even knowing. Yeah, there's a box to say that, look, when you pass mm. away. I think it's new, that is. I'm sure it's not very old, that option. I'm not going to give away my age when I got my license, but when I applied, there was, was a box it there. Was yeah. it was That there. wasn't I, that long ago, that's it. my point. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so if that hasn't been ticked, mm. uh, then obviously you are not allowed. So you're not allowed. If no one has made any indication in yeah, their whole lifetime, no in, yeah, you are even not what if it was even in passing in a conversation, but you can't prove it. For example, I might have said to my to my wife in a in a passing conversation, "Yeah, look, if I pass away," or I might have told my parents or my child, um, my children, "Yeah, if I do pass away in the near future, 
um, I give you permission to do what you want. That's fine. That's fine. Just even in passing. Ah, so you're saying like a, a verbal Just agreement. a verbal. That's Not, fine. Nothing that's, written. That's fine. A verbal that agreement. That can be used. A verbal agreement can be, is, is satisfactory and can be, um, what's what I'm looking for? It, it is justifiable. Okay. It is appropriate. It is acknowledged. And it is valuable uh, piece of evidence to contribute to. Yes, you can proceed. Okay. But if, if you have never said it, and you haven't written it down yeah. or you haven't ticked. So there's no indication verbally or in text right. that you would like to, uh, you know, your organs to be donated. <sighs> Not allowed. Have you got any questions? Well, so I, I was going to say, do you have one? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, go for it. No, 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 it's fine. No, no, please. Because okay. well, uh, on that issue, because a lot of people have this, this discussion around donating organs. And what if you don't know that the organ that you're donating to um, no, the, yeah, so the Receiving organ, or? Th no, so, so for example, let's just say you've, you've passed away and then someone's taken a kidney and put it into someone else. That someone else, um, no, actually, sorry, on the flip side, you need an organ. Yeah. Okay. You're alive, you need an organ. Um, but you can't verify if this organ, for example, like a liver or a kidney has not passed alcohol or meat or anything mm. like that, or this person mm -hmm. is not of good, wasn't of a good nature. Can you then be able to take his body parts? Or his organs? Um, fantastic question. Um, in regards to organs that belong to, let's say, disbelievers or non-Muslims, mm. um, these you can accept these. These are permissible to accept. Even organs from animals. Even an organ from a pig. Really? And which is very common in, in here in the West. We know about uh, taking pig's, pig's hearts heart. and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's perfectly acceptable. Um, and it becomes tahir as well. It's quite a fascinating subject, you know, it not is. to think about. Because, you know, you put yourself in that situation that you're in need of a, an organ and it's life and death. How desperate, you know, you hear these pleas from, um, you know, parents, you know, adults themselves. Um, and but when you're on the point of giving, it's very difficult to think that your body part will be in, in somebody else. And, you know, obviously you're, especially after death when it's not. And I just wonder in, a t in terms of what our responsibility is as a citizen, um, should we all consider giving an, an organ, you know, donations? Is it a good thing? Is it something that will really bring pleasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or is it something that, you know, it's really down to our own choice that it's a good deed, continuing life, but... I, I believe that um, it is, a, you know, a, a, an act of helping another person and indeed saving someone's life. Mm. So why wouldn't you want to save someone else's mm. life? Especially when you have no use for it anymore. Exactly. If, if you know... I can understand that certain people will say you know, to preserve the body and, and maybe they feel that it's disrespect to the dead if you are to, you know, yeah. um, I won't say the word mutilate, but to you know, cut up and, and take organs and stuff. Uh, however, you know, if you look at it from a social aspect, you know, the approach that the Westerners use is that your deceased loved one can live on and live on through this person and that person if this person takes a, an organ. There's a famous film. Uh, Will Smith, I'm not going to mention the name, um, uh, but you know, it, where, where um, he wants to uh, make uh, compensate and, 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 and he wants to like, you know, make amends with, with uh, an accident with seven people and then he finds seven lives and he donates his, you know, because he, uh, he's, he's, he's dying of cancer, he's dying, oh, dying yeah, of a disease and then yeah. he, he gives to each, you know, one person mm. gets this body part, another one gets that, uh, the blind man gets his eyes and, and wow. so, so forth. You know, and, and, and in a way, he knows he's dying, but, you know, he still lives on through those people. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's a very what, beautiful so philosophical. In terms of, like, afterlife, um, we're not supposed to be cremated. Um, so the whole body is meant to stay intact. But we can take body parts out and they can be given. So where's the sort of... The line is, I mean, we, we do respect uh, the body... Uh, and obviously cremation is not something that we do. Furthermore, um, there's a lot of decomposing of the body, which is actually required to go, the nutrients and minerals to go into the soil to help with, with other life, um, as in plant life and, and things to grow. Um, so that's why we, we, we bury. Um, but, you know, cutting up and, mm. and then, I'm not talking about what these barbaric terrorists do in, in foreign countries, um, but, you know, it's, this is science and medicine. And mm. this is to help and, and aid people. The Maraja have, have made it clear that it is uh, acceptable and it is allowed and permissible only with the consent mm -hmm. of the person. And that consent could be verbal or it could be as a document. 
with the consent of the person. Mm. Um, I think a big issue is when, um, you know, if a person is living, are they allowed to donate organs? They are allowed as long as it doesn't bring harm to yeah. themselves. Yeah. Even to a state, some say that they can even sell their organs as long as there's no harm. And if there is sort of like a compulsion, they can even sell their organs for money. I think the main question is of uh, someone who's, who's alive. Yeah. Are they allowed to donate an organ, which they, it is permissible? Uh, as long as there's no harm to the person, it, it is permissible for, for them to donate mm -hmm. an organ. Is it permissible to sell an organ uh, in the Rasala? There, uh, there's a question in regards to someone selling an eye. Um, it's permissible under compulsion that if they have to, if this is necessary for them, they are allowed to sell. Um, and then uh, what's really uh, you say controversial or, is that when we have a patient who is what we call brain dead, mm -hmm. Um, they are living with uh, machines. Mm. Um, if without the machines, they would die. Um, side note to that is that if someone is on a life support machine, it is haram to turn it off. Mm. Uh, we don't have this thing of euthanasia mm. in, uh, in in Islam. We do whatever we can to keep to someone living life. and preserve life, even if it's just for that person to breathe in and out and have some sort of consciousness. We we keep that there. We we don't we don't switch off the machines and we don't allow. Uh, death to take over. We do whatever we can to preserve life. Um, and in that situation, if someone is there, um, you know, and we're preserving someone, are we allowed to take their organs? Um, the answer is you're not allowed um, without the consent yeah, you know. of that person. What if um, you have consent of a family member? That family member has to give uh, sufficient evidence as if, yes, I have the consent of this person. Of this person yeah. It's all down to the consent. Yeah. Um, because that person can't communicate his consent anymore, you will take the first premise and you will continue mm. with that. And if he had the near that he wanted to, inshallah, Allah will reward him for his near, that even when he was uh, brain dead and he mm. couldn't do anything, he still wanted to help humanity, inshallah. Are we allowed to give our body organs to science for research mm. purposes? The organ donating doesn't restrict from helping just a human being uh, or as in that you know take my mm. kidney or my heart and put it into another person um, organ donating is organ donating to whatever cause it is mm. and it is permissible uh, especially if it's to do with medicine uh, you're donating your organ for, for, for the case of improving this, medicine yeah um, one of the main reasons where you can justify the prolonged life of Imam Mahdi uh, and for example the Quran where it mentions I think is Nabi Nuh to live 950 years, is that there was a, a, a scholar that mentioned that if you took away all of the risks associated to death, so for example, war, politics, uh, I don't know, food, disease. disease, all of these, if you take that away, then the risks the, of death is decreased. And then if you put this person in a vacuum where you can sustain him, food, for, for mm. example, um, sustain him, uh, for a prolonged time, then could that mean that you can prolong a body's life for a certain amount, put him to sleep, for example? Um, because I would imagine that if you kept him alive, hmm. but he's, he's got consciousness, but you've removed all the risk of, of death, then obviously men mental state will then you know, uh, have a risk on, on death as well because you can just go crazy. Uh, but there are the, there are elements of being able to preserve the life. The whole mm. point is that there are, there are elements mm. of being able to preserve a life, but with consciousness, not rather mm. not death. And then, I mean, there, there are discussions in regards to the soul, uh, especially of the believers, that wherever they're buried in the world, does their soul get transported to a more mm. holier and more sacred land? Mm. Um, and, it's, and it's, it's interesting. It's a massive topic, yeah, I think, because I think the primarily the issue with the organ donation is the fact that. You know, we're not concerned about our physical because obviously our journey is continuing to God. So we are thinking about, well, what is permissible from, from the perspective of you know, religion and are we doing some harm to our body often? As you say, organ donation is perfectly um, permissible, permissible under um, the marriage that you mentioned. So obviously, you know, something people can consider. I mean, it's something that we should consider, not think it's an event that death will come to all of us. So that's been a fascinating discussion. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, definitely has. Can't wait for the next one, would yep. you say, sure. hopefully in the near future.
And with that, we bring... Oh, my, my heart is with you. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, and on that note, um, many thanks for your time, Sayed, and obviously Zara and I both really appreciate Thank your time. Thank you very much for having um, me. We also appreciate your time, uh, the dear viewers of Amal Hussain TV, and another episode of Morning Baraka comes to a close. Um, with that said, we look forward to seeing you very soon, and inshallah, um, yeah, we'll see you Have very, a blessed very soon. Day. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much.